We're trying to create games that are able to respond to players' body language. The latest generation of motion controllers like the Microsoft Kinect can detect quite subtle body movements. And the true power of that will come when we can um, work with the kind of movements we make every day in our interactions with other people. The kind of movements we do with our bodies naturally, but we don't consciously understand them. So it makes it very hard to explicitly program them. That's why we're taking a different approach. We're working with a performer who we are motion capturing and we're using the motion data of his movements as the basis for our interactive character. This performer designs the character by performing. The performer's interacting with members of the public. Members of the public play live via a Microsoft Connect and interact with a 3D character controlled by the performer. Once we've recorded examples of interaction, our performer edits them and adds certain tags which will inform how the artificial intelligence works. Maybe this one. And then you're, you finish. Then we use an algorithm called decision trees to automatically learn an artificial intelligence from those examples. Okay, so now we can go and um, test. All right. That artificial intelligence is now able to respond to the movements of a player from the Kinect in much the same way as the performer did originally. It's quite easy to learn. You learn it pretty fast. After a few seconds, everybody was capable to add clips and to add classes and cuts, things, stuff. When I was acting, and I can see the thing on screen, um, there's specific parts where I know it's working and I know it's not. It's funny to, to see those on screen and be like, I knew that was a killer. It was specific. It was very good at the at when I laughed at it. It would walk away disappointed, um, and so that worked really well. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We hope that in the future this will lead to games that are more emotionally complex and able to respond to more subtle social nuances of human behaviour.